Look at y'all stopping in to get your daily dose of On Top and Hot. I'm loving it. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And this is Wednesday. It is June 5th. Which means I need to remind you about my live streaming event tomorrow. I do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. When they're shutting down the market, I'm just going on. Me and my co-host, that is. Me and Taylor go on for about an hour and a half, taking requests from investors like you. I share hot penny stocks with you all week. This gives you a chance to bring in a hot penny stock that we can share with everybody else. I'm going to go over the information, Taylor will go over the chart, and we'll give you our opinions, whatever that's worth to you. Now, I got to be frank with you, if you drop your ticker during this show, I'm not going to get to it. And there's a good reason for that. I have to announce to everybody that I got this video at the end of the day. So I have to do this earlier in the day. Well, I've got a habit of going first come, first served. And I drop these announcements around lunchtime. Well, as soon as I do, people start dropping their tickers. By the time 4 o'clock rolls around, I've got all the tickers I can handle for the show. So if you really want your ticker looked at, get it in the queue early. Wherever you follow me, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, I'm going to put up announcement around lunchtime. Drop your ticker in then. Guaranteed I'm going to look at it. And it's going to give me a lot more time to go over the information for you. That's 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time Thursday, every Thursday. Now you know what we do on this show. We like to focus in on hot penny stocks. I trade penny stocks. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on every market. And because I got to make you a video at the end of the day, I'm looking for a stock that has heat, that has potential to make us money. And of course, I've got one for us. And this is one you're probably very familiar with. This is Safety Shot Inc., ticker SHOT. Now, Safety Shot basically came on the market August of last year. It used to be Jupiter Wellness. Jupiter Wellness acquired the company, changed their name, changed their ticker, and for all practical purposes, changed their operations. The company is now working with a hangover remedy, which we'll get into more here in a minute. So, I picked this stock because she's got what we're looking for. I always look for a chart that has heat. This stock had heat a while ago, but she's been in a downtrend, but right now she looks like she's ready to start doing something again. They've been working really hard to get their products out there, and they're changing their product right now, and I think it's a great change, and I think it's going to explode their revenues. So, SHOT finished the day today at a buck thirty-nine and just over 11% gains. Now, this is a hot penny stock on the major exchange. She's on the NASDAQ, which means there are no transaction fees. You can trade it pre-market, after-market. There's a lot more money and a lot more volume up on the major exchange and a lot more rules. So, it's just safer trading stocks up on the major exchange. So, what is Safety Shot all about? Well, I'm going to dive on over here into one of their most recent news presses. Safety Shot Inc. is a wellness and dietary supplement company which has developed Safety Shot, the first patented wellness product on earth that lowers blood alcohol content by supporting its metabolism while boosting clarity, energy, and overall mood. Safety Shot is available for purchase online at drinksafetyshot.com and Amazon. The company is introducing business-to-business -business sales of Safety Shot to distributors, retailers, restaurants, and bars throughout 2024. Now, this isn't the only company that has a hangover remedy. I know of a couple others out there. I can't think of the company's names. One of them is public. Their product is called Unbuzzed. Uh, and I don't know what the differences are between their products. So I know they're not the only one, but they claim to be the very first one. So what exactly is this beverage? Safety Shot is the first of its kind functional beverage crafted with essential B vitamins, antioxidants, electrolytes, and nootropics designed to rapidly rehydrate, boost mental clarity, energy, and overall mood. Disrupting the industry and creating a category of one. Safety Shot is the world's first beverage to reduce blood alcohol content by supporting its metabolism in as little as 30 minutes. So that's your product and that is what they do. We could go jumping over to their website, but they're not going to add any more information. All the extra information we need is going to come from the news. 
So before we dive into that news, let's go take a look at the stock. What was the relative volume around shot today? It's up. We went from about 840,000 shares a day over the last 30 days to over 2.2 million shares today. Share structure for shot, please below. It is, that's not a bad one. Outstanding share count is about 51 million. I don't know what the float is. I don't know what the restricted share count is. All I know is that the float can't be any lower than a million. That's the minimum criteria on the NASDAQ. And it can't be any higher than the outstanding share count. So somewhere between a million and 51 million is our float. And if it is closer to 51 million than a million, I'm happy with that. Anything under 100,000 is, is actually a decent float. Market cap for the company, we're at about 64, 65 million. Financials for shot. All right, you've got to remember this company just came on August of last year, so these years really don't matter. Mm, this one would. This would be the very first one for the company, the, the very first quarter, although this is an annual. They tell us they did $202,000 for the entire year, 2023, but they lost 74,000 doing that. And we know that's thousands because they tell us over here, we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. Let's check out our quarterlies. So it was right here that she came into business, but that's not her money. This might be her money and this is most definitely her money. And oh my God, what's going on here? She's losing a lot of money. The first quarter of 2024, she did $170,000 worth of business but she lost $2.2 million, egads. Check out the balance sheet for the company. Well, they got about 2 million in the bank. Total assets, about 9.2 million. Oh, thank God, I was expecting worse. Liabilities is just over one third of that, 3.6 million, which means we do have positive stockholder equity in the company of $5.5 million, which isn't bad. They're not making any profit, but they do have stockholder equity. Taking a look at the disclosures for SHOT. All right, we've got a lot of 8Ks here, and each one of these 8Ks is corresponding to news. So that's just where we're gonna go, is looking at the news. Now, they've got a lot of news here. I was trying to roll all the way back to when they came on the market in August couldn't get that far. This only goes back to March and that's good enough for us. I could get the rest of the news somewhere else, but this is good enough. Now, the fact of the matter is we're only going to jump into, I think, one piece of news here, but I got a lot highlighted. What I've got highlighted here basically is where they're doing business, who they're doing business with. We could go through a lot of reading, jumping in and out of news presses. So I've highlighted the companies and I'm sure there's more than just this. So starting back here in March, the company is now available through GoPuff and BevMo. Now I thought this interesting, they've been getting some bad press. I don't know why, but there's people picking on them out there. This was in March of this year, Safety Shot wins a lawsuit against Capybara Research and Igor Appleboom. Bazinga retracts the defamatory story. I don't know what it is, that might be a good read. The company announces strategic partnership with Launch 33 Brands to expand distribution in Los Angeles. Nelk Boys, this is a very popular and big influencer, unlike myself. <laughs> Nelk Boys to partner with Safety Shot to bring the recovery of wellness drink to fans and followers. More bad press here, I don't know. Safety Shot, a business model unlikely to succeed. I'd have to dive into the business model a little bit more. From what I see, they sell products in convenience stores, supermarkets, and bars. Sounds like a pretty basic business model to me. Safety Shop partners now with GoPuff, so they're not just selling their products there, they have actually partnered with them. We're up to May 14th. Safety Shot expands operations to the Northeast. That is New Jersey and New York. We get more news about that. The company announces strategic C store plans in Los Angeles with 7 Eleven. The company partners with BM distributors to expand market presence in Las Vegas. You got to remember, Las Vegas is a party town. 
This is a town of tourists. And what do people do when they go on vacation to a party town? They get drunk. Oh yeah. And there's going to be a lot of hangovers in there. A lot of people who don't normally drink are going to be drinking than they normally do. So this is a great city to be pushing their product in. Now this is the news that excites me the most. Safety Shot, world's first beverage to reduce blood alcohol content, announces launch of new four ounce bottles. Boom! You know what we're talking about, right? You've seen those little five hour energy drinks up there on the counters. That is the perfect place to put them and that's exactly what they want. Right now they've got a 12 ounce beverage that you have to walk to the cooler to get. Well, when you have a hangover, walking isn't something you want to do a lot of. You really haven't got an appetite to eat or drink anything, and a 12-ounce beverage may just be too much. But chances are you're going to stop at a store, gas station, going to work, or wherever you're going, needing something. And when you're standing there in line with your head pounding, you're going to be looking at the counter seeing those little hangover remedies right there and you're going to sell yourself just seeing them there and i think that's going to make their revenues explode because impulse shopping when you see a remedy for your hangover when you have a hangover you'll pay anything for it and now it's not a drink 12 ounces that you got to put down you just pop a shot a little four ounce and 30 minutes later you're feeling better i think that is one of the smartest moves this company can make on uh, June 4th, the company partners with Mr. Checkout. We're going to dive into this piece of news just to give you an idea of how big these distribution deals are. On June 4th, Shot partners with Mr. Checkout to expand presence with independent retailers nationwide. And this is important, folks. It is big to get with franchises like 7-Eleven or Circle K. Absolutely. That's great business. But you can't overlook the ma and pa businesses, the independent stores, independent supermarkets, because I'll bet you at least half of the country are independent small owners. And that's a ton of business that they would be missing out on. And they are focused in on that. And we're going to get more details about that when I get done looking at the highlighted news. Very last one here, Safety Shop Partners with Prime CSB to expand distribution into New York and New Jersey. So diving into that one piece of news about them partnering with Mr. Checkout. Mr. Checkout's extensive distribution network spans over 200,000 independent retail locations across the United States. Mr. Checkout has proven track record of successfully launching, scaling, and promoting innovative products in the retail space as demonstrated by their work with partners such as the 5-Hour Energy Drink and Blue Electronic Cigarettes. With their support, Safety Shot aims to expand its footprint in convenience stores, neighborhood markets, and independent groceries nationwide. And I think that's the best move they can do, folks. Get that into a little tiny bottle so you can put it on the counter in front of every single person everybody you put it in anywhere else in a store people have to go to it look for it and grab it now it's right there in front of them and as i said when you already have a hangover your impulse to grab a remedy for your hangover <laughs> i think that's a guaranteed sale so they're in las vegas they're in new jersey they're in new york and to be completely honest i don't know how many other states but they've got a lot of distribution companies now this is just one of them working with 200,000 independent retail locations. The other distribution companies are going to have the same sort of thing going on. This is going to ignite their business. I'm excited for them. All right, let's go take a look at that chart, which I also think is about ready to ignite. Let's do some charting now on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. We're going to be charting SHOT, ticker S-H-O-T. This is Safety Shot Inc., I got the charts initially opened up here to a three-year, one-week chart, primarily for one reason. I want to show you how far back this very strong support resistance goes. This is a three-year resistance support line that she is still working on. She bounced off of it here, getting this mighty big rip, came all the way back down, has landed securely on top of this support, and looks to be bouncing off of it right now. 
Now let's come on down to current times. We're gonna go down to our six month, four hour view. Now each one of these blue lines is when we've looked at this stock before. We looked at it back in October, at the beginning of January, and at the end of January. This was the best look. <laughs> we were here at about a buck 25, and she went up to 750 in three weeks. That is a 600% run we caught there. She then came back down, we looked at it again, and she fell after we looked at it here. We should have known that, folks. Look at all of these SMAs coming down strong and hard. There wasn't a strong likelihood this was going to turn around here, so we should have realized it was still going to fall. Then we looked at at the end of January. She was on a run, and she continued that run, getting back up over the 200. Then she lost her footing fell back under the 200 and she's been in a downtrend all this time until she's landed on this strong support right here and she's been bouncing off of this a few times and she is right up underneath that 200 which she's been up underneath a lot so that doesn't necessarily mean she's going to break out but I see one other thing that right there my 200 haul is now trending up it's purple when it's falling, it's blue when it's climbing. When I see my price between the 200 haul and the 200 day SMA turn blue, far as I'm concerned, she's gonna run directly to that 200 and hopefully she's gonna break out. Our oscillators, well, they're looking strong. Our PPO is climbing, our MACD is climbing, green bar is accumulating, RSI is clear up at 68 right now. And our volume has been pretty steady let me back this out so we can get a better look here. Oh, can't see it there. <laughs> so we've had thick volume. Every now and then it has been bursting. Uh, we had a burst today, as a matter of fact. Come on down to our 20-day, one-hour view. Well, we got a serious downtrend here that is changing her trend right now. She is going flat today. This was the day she turned around and changed her trend. She's not a downtrend anymore. She is just now starting to turn up with every single other SMA getting ready to cross that 200. That is going to give the price some extra strength, some extra power to start climbing. Everything is looking beautiful on our one hour chart. Look at our five day, five minute. Well, that's an excellent chart. We got a low bubble in this corner of a dollar five. High over here of a buck 60. We have changed our trend. We came underneath our strong support, making it a strong resistance now. We were underneath the 200 hitting this low bubble, got up on top of our 200 and started to work to get up on top of that strong support. Once she got up here, she banged on it once, banged on it twice and launched. That was it folks. I like this support and resistance as our floor. She has climbed up to that buck 59, came back down, did not touch our 200. She's floating here. Now, I'm curious. I'm going to go back to the 15 minute and see if she's bouncing on something. She is. She's not floating in the air like it shows on the five minute. She came back down. As you can see, she's bouncing on the 50 day SMA on the 15 minute chart over and over. Took her climb, came back down, landing firmly on that 50 day has bounced and is now up on top of her 200 day haul. This is actually looking pretty good. Jumping back down to that five day, five minute. All right, the only thing I'm not crazy about here is this mix up of our SMAs. You got a bunch of strong ones, 200 haul, 50 day SMA, all coming down. But our 20 is crossing over the 50 right now, pushing the price up, and we've got our strong 200-day SMA on an uptrend right now, helping support the price's push. So it doesn't look bad on the chart. It's not ideal, but it doesn't look bad. Osculators are a little weaker down here. Everything is on a downtrend right now. Everything is cooling off, except, <laughs> except our RSI. After market period here, she is bouncing off of her 20 and she is starting to climb. I think there's a lot of potential here. I'm very excited about them taking their 12 ounce beverage and condensing it down to a four ounce shot that they're going to put on the counter where everybody is going to see. The first thing a person with a hangover wants if they smoke is a pack of cigarettes. So they're going to go to the store for the cigarettes. And what are they going to buy when they see that remedy on the, sh the counter? They're going to buy it.
I think this is an excellent move for the company. I'm also very excited about them working with all of these distribution companies, getting out there to independent business owners. That is going to increase their business I just can't even imagine. It's going to be big, folks. But do your own due diligence. I know they've got more deals out there. We only went back to April, March for their news. There's a lot more news going back to August. That's as far back as you need to go. Remember, folks, doing your own due diligence, it's not a waste. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.